this is the before. So we're going to rip out the carpet, put some nice hardwood floors, paint that paneling white, brighten it up in here. And this is a much bigger space than I have upstairs. And then this little room here is going to be my office and where I keep product for the shop. So I'm going to get some IKEA furniture, some organizational furniture, and hopefully this turns out really nice. Okay, here is the after. So the floors look great. So we just put some white cord around, around there because I'm going to paint those panels white. I'm going to paint the walls white so I'm going to get rid of all this dark brown and brighten the space up. So this space does have a window here. This will be my office. So what do you guys think? Looks cool, huh? Now for the fun part. Buy the furniture after I paint and start decorating. Charlie says, get some paint on these walls. That's right, it took forever for me to get this done. But I finally got someone to paint it really, really nice. The, bef the before and after is like night and day. So we went with a gray colored scheme. So here's a little snapshot or a little overview of the after. So this is going to be my craft space. I'll have my table down there. A sit sitting area over here. I have this huge TV so not sure if that's going to stay or not. And then down here is going to be my office and packing room. So I have this armoire here that's very heavy that I'm not going to be able to move out. So I'll push that into the corner and use it for storage. But I have a lot more space down here. In my other craft room, it was just one small room, and I had that for packing my craft room, designing and all of that. So I'll have separate spaces down here, so it'll be much better. It'll also be a lot quieter. There's no road noise down here. Um, maybe I could start doing some lives because I won't be interrupted um, with Charlie Bear. So... Okay, I'll show some more later on of my storage solutions. I wasn't able to buy really any IKEA furniture. A lot of the parts were out of stock, so I just reused the old furniture that I had in my other craft room. I was able to buy some shelving units to store product from IKEA, so you'll see that. Here's a before and after of the window cover up that with the curtains. It looks so much better. And I love that buffalo check. I have it throughout the craft room. Here's the other window. I added a valance there. And here is the mess when I started bringing everything in before I put everything away. The drawers you're going to see sitting on the couch hold a lot of stuff. Basically I use those drawers to keep all of my craft supplies in some kind of file system. It was here um, left with the house. They had tools in it so I just repurposed it and used it for my craft supplies. I added a countertop across the top of it. I already had this couch down here so I just spruced it up with some buffalo check pillows. I painted the bottom of that coffee table white to go with the decor 
And of course, Charlie has to have his photo shoot here. Um, he says this is his spot on the couch. Now here is an overview of the area where I sit and I craft. Um, that's just a dining room table, an old one, and I put the tablecloth over it. Um, I couldn't find a craft table that I wanted from Ikea. The ones that I wanted had um, out of stock parts. So I just had to make do. Um, this is how I'm storing my stamps. Those three bins that you see with stamps are old plant boxes. I have them turned on the side and I just decorated the side with paper and Mod Podge. And then that other box is just, it's a box and I decorated it with paper. Um, so that's my stamp storage solution on a budget. I'm keeping my brother scan and cut up here. Um, I'll have to see if that's enough room for the mat to go back and forth. If it's not, then I'll have to find another spot for it. And over here, I'm keeping my big shot on top of this little dresser that I had. Um, in the drawers, I keep my cutting plates and my, my paper trimmer and my scoreboard, some bigger items. I just have tucked away in the drawer. The only negative thing about being in the basement is the lighting. It is very dim with the two lights that they have down there. So the studio light really helps with the lighting. It lights it up. Um, so I have three studio lights that I use for filming. So I have a nice scented candle lit. Um, I love lighting up a candle down here and playing some music. I love listening to indie rock. I just got into that and I cannot stop listening to it. Um, I just find it so relaxing. I found this great chalkboard at Hobby Lobby. Um, I can write the days on there and I write all my um, things that I need to remember when the releases are coming out, if I'm in a hop. Um, it's gonna keep me nice and organized and it looks pretty. I put some pumpkin garland around the top. I have some hooks up there so I can change out the garland for each season. So I'm looking forward to when I could put some Christmas garland with some lights. I think that will be super fun. So here's where all the magic happens. I do my filming hair, I do my coloring. There's a little sneak peek of our winter mini release which will be November 1st. I have a little cart, a rolling cart to the side that has my inks and all my go-to items. I have the ink navigator kit right to the side of me. It's a great stamping tool if you haven't seen the video. And I keep my Copic markers to the left of me on this Copic tower. That storage solution is from Copic itself. But all my markers always end up to the right of me in this little bin. There's a front view of my desk. I have my pencils organized. I found that pencil organizer from TJ Maxx. It's a Ray Dunn pottery piece. I found this fun art piece at a cute little vintage shop. I love it. Oink moo ba. I keep some of our not too shabby stamps in that cute little cart that's also by Ray Dunn, found it at TJ Maxx. Now here's my office. I have a little table here. I uh, just put the tablecloth over it to make it look more cute. That's my packing station. Underneath the tablecloth I can hide my, my boxes and packing materials under there. My desk, I got that when I lived in North Carolina for a couple years. I brought that back with me. I just loved it. Um, it's so shabby chic. Now this is the tower of shelves we put together to store all the inventory. We have some bins from Ikea as well. And I just put all the stamps in there. Um, it keeps it all organized. I have some bins from Nuvo. They're little drawer bins. That big armoire is too big to get outside of the door, so it's staying in there. I'm just going to use it for storage. Right now there's a TV in it, which I don't need that in there. I'm not going to be watching TV in here. 
So I'll just take that out and use it for storage. I'm just gonna pan around here so you can see what's behind this armoire. There's a door that goes out to the bathroom there. And then we've got the wall of shelves, which I love this. I'm glad I decided to do the whole wall full of shelves. And then this little cart here is awesome. It fits so many stamps. Like if you want a storage solution for your for your like four by four stamp sets, I think this is perfect. It's from Ikea. The drawers pull out. You can see what you're looking at and easily flip through each stamp set. Now that microphone there, my husband bought me that. It's a little over the top. I'm using it right now on this voiceover. Thank you, hubby. <laughs> So we are at the end of the video. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Maybe you'll get inspired to redo a space of your own and just paint really does make a difference and use what you got, revamp it. That's what I did and I totally love how it turned out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications and I'll see you real soon in another video. Take care. Bye guys.